Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is flatten binary tree to linked list. Given the root of a binary tree, flatten the tree into a linked list. The linked list should use the same tree node class where the right child pointer points to the next node in the list and the left child pointer is always null. The linked list should be in the same order as a pre-order traversal of the binary tree. So pre-order traversal is node left right and you can see we're going to go node left, left, right, and make this into a linked list, supposedly. It's still a binary tree, but we're just going to use the right child pointer as the next. Now, they want us to do this in place. If you look at, um, we're not going to return anything, because if we were to just create a new binary tree, it'd be pretty trivial. We would just tra traverse uh, and pre-order traversal, put our values into like um, an array, and then recreate our binary tree, right? But we don't want to do that. We want to do this in place. So how can we do that? Uh, well, normally with these binary tree problems, you'd have to do something recursive. And you'd have to figure out what you might be able to do at a single node. So say that we're starting here. Uh, what we would do is return a flattened list of whatever the subtree is, right? And put that to, to the right side. And whatever the end of this subtree is, it's going to be a flattened tree now we're going to put that right side as this temporary one here at that in here right so we can say okay here with two three four we're going to make this two three four here whatever this is put that in between and whatever the end point there is make that going to be uh, equal to the right side of this node okay so that means we have to return two things we have to return the head of our new flattened linked list as well as the tail. So we have to return both of those. And what we'll do is um, if, if there is something returned, we're going to uh, always make the left side a null. And we will make the right side, the first right side, equal to whatever the flattened list is here. And then uh, move our end pointer all the way to the end of this tree and then attach whatever um, subtree that gets returned from the right side to that. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. Uh, the very first thing we want to do is create a helper method. So we'll just call this DFS and we're going to pass in a node. Okay, and we know we're going to return two things, right? We're going to return the head and the tail of our flattened linked list or flattened uh, binary tree. So first thing, if not node, we're just going to return none, none. All right, so there's two things we got to keep track of. We have to keep track of the left, and the um, we'll call it left two. This is going to be the end, the tail. And what we'll do is just pass in the node.left here, and then we're going to do the same thing here with right two equal to DFS node.right as well. Now, first thing we want to do is reset our left to just be none. And we have our left and left two values. Uh, so what we'll do is... Uh, we'll keep track of this in some sort of pointer. So we'll call this the end. And we'll start off just with end being the node. So if there's a left, what do we want to do? Well, we want to take our, our end right and make that equal to uh, left, right? And we want to now make, let's see, um, end dot right to go to left. So now we want... Uh, end to now e equal what left two right and if there's a right now we want the end dot right to equal right and we want end to equal right two finally just return the node which is going to be the head and then the end which is now going to be the tail so if we just uh, call this now with the root this should modify our binary tree to be a linked list so that looks like it's working let's go ahead and submit it and there we go, that's accepted. So this is O of n time complexity, but because of this recursion stack, I believe it's gonna be O of n extra space. This follow up here, can we flatten the tree in place with just O of one extra space? That would basically mean we'd have to do something iteratively. And unfortunately, I just couldn't figure out a way to do that in O of n, because if we were to do this iteratively, we'd have to re like, uh, as we build our binary tree, we have to refine the end uh, each time in our iterative loop. So it ends up becoming n squared. So I, I don't know if that's better. Um, 
you know, if anyone figured out a O of N with O of 1 space solution, you know, feel free to put it in the comments. But otherwise, I think this is good enough. I know it's not O of 1 space technically, but it is O of N time complexity. So I'd say that's fairly optimal. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.